James Webb Telescope just announced the first real image of the inside of a black hole. Ever since its discovery, black holes have been one of the most fascinating and mysterious occurrences in the universe, and scientists and astronomers have been trying for decades to wrap their heads around its nature while making little headway. However, the James Webb Telescope has made some interesting new discoveries that might finally provide details about what lies within these space monsters in the long run. So far, the information available to us identifies them as regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. It's believed that black holes are formed when massive stars collapse into themselves at the end of their lives, leaving only their cores active. Through years of observation, scientists have been able to discover two main types of black holes due to the certain shared characteristics between members of each group. One is the stellar black hole, and the other is the supermassive black hole. The shared characteristics of these black holes are mostly focused on the size of the stars that form them. Stellar black holes are formed when the stars with more than 20 times the mass of the sun collapse. Supermassive black holes, on the other hand, are much larger, with masses millions or even billions of times that of the sun. They are thought to be found at the center of most galaxies where they were formed. Black holes are not definite bodies that litter the universe like other known planets. They are very much invisible, but we can detect them by observing their gravitational effects on the surrounding matter. They tend to trigger some reactions that make them stand out. For instance, if a black hole is passing through a cloud of gas, the most likely scenario is that the gas will be heated up enough to emit radiation. We can also detect black holes by the way they affect the orbit of stars and other objects in their vicinity, as the strong gravitational pull they have tend to draw everything toward them. The focus on black holes isn't just a recent trend. The first black hole was discovered in 1971 by a team of astronomers led by Jocelyn Bell Burnell. They came across this when they were studying radio waves from a distant galaxy and they noticed a regular pattern of pulses, which was later identified as the signature of a black hole. Because black holes were thought to be points of infinite density and gravity, early scientists that were interested in the phenomenon dubbed it gravitational singularity. However, it is important to note that we do not fully understand what happens inside a black hole to this day. But the launch of the JWST has come with so much optimism that more will be learned about such occurrences in our universe. And so far, it's been living up to expectations. The history of the discovery of black holes has just been filled with so many uncertainties with scientists drawing up theories on what they really think these things are. In 1783, John Mitchell first suggested that there could be occurrences with such strong gravity that not even light could escape. And also, in 1916, Albert Einstein's popular general theory of relativity pointed to the existence of black holes. In 1939, Robert Oppenheimer and his team calculated that black holes can form from the collapse of massive stars. The whole thing took a different turn in 1971, with Jocelyn Bell Burnell discovering the first black hole, which is known as Cygnus X1. And in 1994, the first direct image of a black hole was taken by the Event Horizon Telescope. Through these long years of discovery, black holes remain one of the most mysterious occurrences in the universe. There's still much to be learned about them, and the new discoveries will continue to fascinate scientists and enthusiasts alike. Helping with the new discoveries is a role that JWST has shown great potential at fulfilling. After years of research, 
It's been found that it's possible that the smallest black holes will be about the size of an atom, while the largest black holes go way beyond and are thought to be billions of times the mass of the sun, which makes them unimaginably huge. Black holes are characterized by the event horizon, which is the boundary around a black hole where nothing, not even light, can escape. And theories have been put in place to suggest that these black holes loop back on themselves. With the state-of-the-art equipment aboard the JWST, it's been able to sight a black hole that seems to have formed when the universe was still at a very young age, making it the oldest black hole ever discovered. This oldest and yet most distant black hole discovered by the James Webb Telescope is located in the galaxy Sears 1019. This is a galaxy that's estimated to have formed just 570 million years after the Big Bang, which makes it one of the oldest galaxies in the universe. This black hole at the center of Sears 1019 is also considered to be small at least compared to some other black holes, weighing about only 9 million solar masses. This is much smaller than most supermassive black holes, which typically weigh in at billions of solar masses. Further research is underway to uncover the mysteries this presents as the discovery of this black hole is significant because it points to so many possibilities that might expose the origins of things. It also suggests that smaller black holes may have been more common in the early universe than previously thought. It will also provide new insights into how black holes form and grow. These new discoveries have eluded older telescopes for years and have been mostly invisible to them. The James Webb comes with some extra features that made these discoveries possible. The James Webb Telescope was able to detect this black hole by using its infrared capabilities. The infrared light from the black hole's accretion disk was redshifted. The implication of light traveling billions of light years to reach us means that it was stretched out by the expansion of the universe, making it invisible to the eyes. The new technology allowed the James Webb Telescope to see the black hole even though it's very distant. The discovery of this black hole is just one of the many exciting discoveries that the James Webb Telescope has made since it was launched in December 2021. The telescope is expected to make many more discoveries about black holes and other objects in the universe in the years to come. Redshift is a phenomenon that occurs when light from a distant object is stretched out by the expansion of the universe. The light from this black hole is estimated to have taken more than 13 billion light years to reach us, presenting what we can now observe. The long distance traveled causes the light to appear redder than it would if it were not redshifted. The redshifted light is then analyzed to provide us with information about the amazing activities that happen so deep in space. The James Webb Telescope is able to detect redshift by using its infrared capabilities. When light is redshifted, it shifts to longer wavelengths, which are in the infrared spectrum. This allows the James Webb Telescope to see objects that are too distant to be seen in visible light. In the case of the black hole in Sears 1019, the infrared light from the black hole's accretion disk was redshifted by a factor of 12. This means that the light was stretched out by a factor of 12, causing it to appear 12 times redder than it would have if it were not redshifted. This would have been impossible to see using older technology. The James Webb Telescope was able to detect this redshift because it has very sensitive infrared detectors. These detectors are able to detect very faint infrared light which is necessary for detecting objects that are redshifted by a large factor. This discovery is just one of the many ways that the James Webb Telescope has changed our perspective on understanding the universe. The telescope's infrared capabilities are allowing us to see objects that were previously invisible, 
which includes the discovery of even new planets that have existed for billions of years. And these discoveries are providing us with new insights into the formulation and evolution of the universe. The red shifts that were observed from this black hole are stretched by up to a factor of 12, and the amazing fact about the James Webb Space Telescope's infrared detectors is that they have the capacity to detect red shifts of up to 15, which means that the telescope can see objects that are up to 15 billion light years away. The universe will ever remain an inexhaustible resource of new discoveries that will keep us engaged for years. That's all for this video, and we'll see you in the next one.